when I look at the state of the industry today, when I look at, uh, for example, the New York Times deal books, I see huge growing costs to these investigations, especially the global complex ones. They often uh, exceed over $100 million in cost. Uh, so, you know, is, is there something wrong with the way complex investigations are done today? And maybe this is a question for you, Rich. Sure. So to begin with, they take too long, they're too expensive, and they're overly reliant on armies of people. Apart from that, they're great. <laughs> now, there really exercises an inefficiency in my experience, and it's, it's taken us a long time to get to this point. You know, it wasn't that long ago, maybe 15 years ago, that the, the primary challenge in investigations, and I know that Alex will remember this from being a prosecutor, it was how do you find out good information about a person or an event? And the way that we used to meet that challenge was with skilled people. We would do interviews and review documents and knock on doors. Um, and that worked pretty well. But then you fast forward to today. And if you think about investigations as um, exercises in reconstructing human behavior, human behavior, especially in the workplace, has changed. So, so much of human behavior right now happens on computers and on mobile devices and on Bloomberg terminals and in proprietary trading systems, you name it. And it goes on 24-7 and it's all recorded. So there is a proliferation of data in terms of volume and variety, the likes of which we've never seen before. And the problem is, is that many companies are trying to meet that challenge by using the old tools, by throwing bodies at the problem. And this mismatch between problem and solution is causing dramatic inefficiencies.